What's poppin' and welcome back to a brand new video. Today is a Sunday, it's relatively gloomy here in Stockholm. And I've been spending the whole day in my office working on this new thing for this new app that I'm working on. It's kinda like a safety survey, etc. I'll be showing you a little bit of what it looks like in a little bit. But essentially what it is, is for a job or for a particular job for this kind of service that I'm building the app for, which I'll be going over in the next video, you'll be able to do a risk assessment of the site that you're working on. So like how close to the nearest hospital, what kind of risks do we have, etc. And there's a lot of questions involved. So I have to build quite a complicated database model that I will then upload to Firebase Firestore and then I will then be able to pull all this info per particular job that we have. And I'll show you a little bit more what, the, what this looks like. For now, let's get coding. So essentially what this first part is, is just an evaluation that you could do for a particular job site. So the particular industry that I'm building this app for is very niche. And within this industry, they have something that's called a risk assessment that they try to do before every job that they do, because there's quite some risk involved with all the stuff that you do within this industry. And you need this to get your insurance and all that kind of stuff. But right now, most companies do that on paper. And we want to digitalize that and put that in an app so that you can submit whatever stuff you have in the app, you can save it, you can export it as a PDF and then print it on paper if that's what you want to, but at least have the option of keeping it only digital. I think they will make it a lot smoother for a lot of people and also make it a lot more standardized. And what I did was just I split this up because I have like 70 questions. I split this up into eight or 12 different pages, depending on how you look at it. And then I just used a particular scaffold for that and I put it in a slide of a list view. And for each and every one, I just had a text form field that you can edit with your response to that particular question. And I used some simple if statements in order to determine, okay, should we be showing this, uh, these options or should we not be showing these options, etc. And I think it turned out to look pretty good. Okay, it's like two hours later I've been working on this uh, risk assessment server for this whole period of time. I have something which looks pretty good now, let me show you quickly. So here we have the good old simulator. Here we can just enter some basic job info which you'll need, like where it is, what the name is, who the team leader is, etc. That kind of stuff, this will make more sense when I explain this app in the next video, which is, I guess I assume and I understand it's a little bit poor timing, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Then after that you can press some of these uh, things, for example if working on a road is something you'll be doing this job then you'll select this and then you'll be able to select and evaluate all of the risks associated with that. If not then you'll just leave that unticked. Then moving over to uh, this one, for example pedestrians etc. And then we have a bunch of these categories that you can have, for example do we have straight felling, yes or no? Do we have uh, climbing, yes a lot of climbing risks. Do we have rigging risks, no. Do we have Lone working risks, no, do we have heavy machinery? Yeah, we have some of that, for example. So that's what I've been working on now this weekend, pretty much, and I've got something now. What was, it's like complicated with these things because you gotta build like a complex database model and then you gotta make sure you maintain the state throughout all of that and not sending too many reads or writes to the database. You're like thinking about the price, etc. in case this someone decides to do a lot of these, for example. But yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. And now we're gonna finish it off Tomorrow, today is Sunday evening, we're gonna finish it off on Monday. We're gonna try to see if we have time at least. And I'll be showing you more then. So, future Herman, take it from there. What's up? It is Saturday night. It's been a couple of days since the last video I filmed. And I'm still working on this uh, kind of work thing app where you can do some risk assessments and that kind of stuff. I'll be showing you in a little bit. But now I got this exciting thing in the mail just now. This is actually a book, Inspired, How to Create Tech Products Customers Love. We're gonna see if we can read some of this and learn a little bit because apparently the products I've created so far, customers don't really love. So we're gonna see if we can improve that a little bit. Review coming in a couple of weeks. But behind me here, I'm working on this uh, Arbster app, it's gonna be called, now you know the name, I'm gonna be making in the next video, like I said, what it's actually about. But now I'm gonna be working on like some safety details. So for your profile, you'll be able to add some stuff like your blood type, your in case of emergency number, some information about yourself, like allergies, that kind of stuff, in case you're ending up in some bad situation where you're gonna need that stuff when you're working with the stuff that we're making this app for. So that's what we're gonna be doing for the rest of the Saturday night. Then we're gonna be researching a little bit how to launch this app on the on the Apple Connect, for example, because we are relatively close to making a beta test with this, so that's pretty exciting. And um, hopefully we can launch that tomorrow even, because this product is relatively complete. I'll be taking you through that in the next video. But yeah, let's continue coding. So 
what I did during this part of the video was that I added this little safety module. So you can enter your legal name, you can enter your blood type, you can enter your in case of emergent contact, all of that kind of stuff that you need in case you were to get into an accident. And this was relatively simple. All it was just was there was an instance of the part of the database which stores data about the user. And then I just added a few filters, the blood type, the in case of emergency name, in case of emergency phone number, etc. And I put all of this into one big list view where I had an editable text field for each different parameter that you can then edit and based on that I took the change back, I sent it to the database and then I updated it from there. Relatively simple but I think it's quite a good and safe addition to this app in all. Okay, so it's about two hours later and I've now finished the two pages that I wanted to complete. Let me show you quickly what it is that I've done. So here we have the standard simulator. So basically now we have this nice profile page over here where you can go to edit your profile, all that kind of stuff. You can also see your safety module here, which is what this is. And then you can, for example, press risk assessments. Then you'll be able to see a list of your risk assessments. I made that now. And we also have this health information where you can see like blood type, allergies, medication, that kind of stuff in case there would be something that went wrong. So yeah, it's just a simple list view or with a couple of list tiles here and then some text fields that you can, for example, edit your name. So if I edit my name and write something else, that updates to the database. Yeah, pretty good. That is pretty much it for this video. I've gotten some major progress done or I've gotten some major stuff done on this new app that I'm working on. I feel like it's gone so much quicker now that I know this kind of stuff. I don't need to Google every single thing that I need to do, although there's still a lot of Google, still a lot of stack overflow. I guess every program is like that, right? But I'm still quite satisfied with how much I've learned if I'm looking back like a year, two years when I first started this. So that feels really good. It's 10 o'clock, it's a Saturday evening and I'm gonna try to submit this app uh, tomorrow. So I gotta go to bed now, but uh, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this, then please consider subscribing, leave a like down below to show your appreciation. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.